What are seller paid closing costs? If you're wondering what the answer to that question is and how you can get your closing costs paid when you buy a home, I'm gonna answer that question for you today. My name is RJ Baxter with Fairway Independent Mortgage with your tip of the week, so let's dive into it. So first of all, seller paid closing costs are simply when the seller of the home that you're buying pays your closing costs. Because when you, when you obtain a home loan, you're gonna have closing costs on the loan. And typically you'd have to pay for those closing costs out of pocket. So that, that'd be something you'd have to bring to closing in order to buy the house. So one of the ways to get those covered is to have the seller pay those closing costs. You might be asking yourself, well, how do I do that? That sounds like a great idea. The answer is your real estate agent has to submit your offer in that manner to ask the seller to pay your closing costs. So when they submit the offer, that's part of the offer to put it in there that they're gonna pay X number of dollars towards your closing costs. And if they agree to that offer, then they're gonna pay your closing costs. Now, in today's market, it's it's still a pretty hot real estate market in a lot of areas, so you're competing with other buyers. So you might be thinking, how can I get my offer accepted if I'm asking the seller to pay for my closing costs? And the answer is, well, I won't say the answer is, but the, the market is, is a little bit less crazy right now, so there's not quite as many offers, especially in the Denver, Colorado area. We're not seeing 20, 30, 40 offers on a house. There might be two or three, or maybe you're the only offer. So it's not uncommon to have seller paid closing costs on transactions. Now, you may have to raise your offer a little bit when you submit your offer with seller paid closing costs because uh, the seller is gonna net less on the home. So let's say, for example, you're offering on a house that's 400,000. And you're gonna, let's say you're gonna offer the seller full price, but they're gonna pay 4,000, you're gonna ask them to pay 4,000 worth of closing costs. Well, the seller, they're only gonna net 396. So in this example, you may have to offer 404 or 405 with them paying 4,000 in closing costs in order for them to net what they're looking for if you wanna go in at an actual full price offer. So that's just a little bit more about how to get your closing costs paid by the seller. If you have questions about that or if you have questions about how to get pre-approved or how this whole process works, that's why I'm here. I love answering questions about buying a home or financing a home. So just give me a call. My name is RJ Baxter, Fairway Independent Mortgage. You guys have a great day. Thanks for watching.